hi guys you're welcome back to the channel smart hustle yt so if this is your first time of checking out on my channel i will urge you to please subscribe and turn on the bell button for you to receive notifications whenever i upload new video so for my existing subscriber you're welcome back to the channel and uh, for my returning subscriber the family always welcome you all right so we are one family one community so let's do this all right now today i am going to walk you guys through a uh, a yet a mind-blowing tutorial on a particular nigerian card that has ten dollars spend ten thousand dollars spend limit is this not mind-blowing guys so today i am going to walk you guys through that all right and the name of the card i'm going to unleash the name of the card but I would like you to stick around with me on this video from beginning to the end because this particular video looks like uh, a honest and humble review all right now at the last part i am going to review this particular card and after reviewing it on the last part of this video i am going to now tell you guys whether we should use this card or not because the reason why i am talking about this card is that i have received a lot of messages on my dm asking me boss what's this card should we use it should we go on with it transaction what is contained on it and uh, a lot of that so guys the card we are talking about today is bridge card bridge card bridge card all right guys now what is the concept of bridge and concept of their card I am going to talk this in a lot of stages, looking at the meaning of Bridge Card, looking at the company or the people behind Bridge Card, then look at their card, look at the registration and lots of that. So make sure you stick around with me because this is a complete tutorial on Bridge Card. So what is Bridge Card and what is its concept? All right. Before I talk about the company, now Bridge Card is a particular card that does let me come down to the layman way now because that's how i always do that on my video now bridge card looks very similar if you know netella if you know scrail pyypl and uh, uh okay let me come down to nigeria alat and raven as you can see there is one particular video i did which the card will be up now about how to buy crypto on rocky all right we use the raven as a means of payment on rocky all right so this particular raven does the same work as bridge they work as a payment gateway to anything you want to purchase online now as you can see that this cbn we have in this nigeria which is uh, sorry to say that so frustrating to us has given uh a, a, a limit to most of Nigerian cards. Now, we were managing the $100, then they later reduced it to $20. What, what the hell? What can any person do with $20? <laughs> so that is it, guys. Okay, now let's still continue. Now, what can someone do with $20? Now, if you want to purchase something from Amazon that cost $200, so you can purchase it. But again, now, what we have been doing with this card is what I want to teach you now. Remember, on my video on football arbitrage, I told you guys that there are different types of arbitrage. We have football arbitrage, uh, sports betting arbitrage. We have what? Crypto arbitrage. And uh, we also have fiat arbitrage. And I told you guys that arbitrage is simply buying from a low exchange and selling a place where it is high. Online. All right. So before the time the impose this particular limit dollar limit to 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 to, to payment to cards okay when it was pegged at hundred dollars per month then we can get lots of card with us then go and buy crypto from a particular exchange where it is low let's say trust wallet directly with our card then onto binance sell it off and make some gain sometimes we make five thousand sometimes we make seven sometimes we make eight thousand until they reduce the limit to 20 now we can now make one thousand or two thousand in every card which doesn't worth it and this try to embezzle or reduce the means or the process or the idea behind what crypto and other types of arbitrage but bridge is here today to help us out bridge is here to help us out because with bridge you have the right to spend what 
$10,000. The card that Bridge offers has 10,000 limits to what dollar, which means you can keep purchasing things and uh, even in a day, you may not consume up to the $10,000. So that is it, guys. That's why we want to review this particular bridge card. And if it is good, we, I can then teach you live how to use it and buy things and then sell it off at Binance and make cool cash. So you will know my thoughts at the last part of this video. So make sure you stick around. Okay, so guys, now let's move into bridge immediately. Now, uh, what company owns bridge card? So join me as I lead you into their terms and condition let's check that out okay guys all right now in uh, bridge card terms of con and condition this is their website all right now as you can see when you start reading from the first word you see the terms and conditions set out below that is the terms and condition applied to what sorry bridge card the app or bridge card as the case may be all right now read the next word after the statement you will see that they said owned and operated by bridge card limited which is financial technology company located in lagos nigeria and registered with the corporate affairs commission with rc number 1854500 all right so our mainly concern here is that bridge card claims it is owned and operated by bridge card limited which is financial technology company located in lagos nigeria with registration number of 185 or 500 so do you see the company that is behind the bridge card now now let's now look at uh, the offers from bridge card there is one particular good offer from bridge card and uh, another good mind-blowing offer there are in fact two offers the first one is why it is called bridge card and the second one is the physical and the virtual card now why is bridge card called bridge card from the word bridge now let's say uh, in a layman term you come to amazon and you saw a particular good that is worth one thousand dollars all right and you want to purchase this now the whole of your card let me talk about when the card still have hundred dollars limits so all your card has hundred dollars limit so and you want to purchase this good so how you normally do it how we normally do that is we negotiate with the seller and uh, use 10 of our card make those payments hundred dollars hundred dollars and as you can see it is very very stressful but when it comes to bridge bridge has a tech particular technology that is mind-blowing that can make it possible for you to bridge those 10 cards and make the payment once you get that now that is the reason why they are called what bridge card <laughs> all right okay now that's not mainly my my major concern i don't want to elaborate more on that the place i want to look at is where we are going to be making money from <laughs> all right so the place i am mainly concerned is the virtual card which we can use to purchase uh, usdt or cryptocurrency as the case may be on a lower price then go to binance and sell it now the next one is dia cards now bridge card offers two types of card which is what virtual and the physical card all right now virtual card as you all know is a type of card that you cannot be holding on your hand but you will be seeing it on the screen you see the numbers and everything then use it and make payments online why physical card are the one you will be holding with your hand now let's now look at before we look at the things contained in this card in detail in detail i'm going to leash everything about bridge card in detail in this video before we now look at all these things let's first of all look at how to get what how to register on bridge card and how to get their app first of all before you register on bridge card let me show you something let me pause the video and go to my play store so onto my play store guys onto my play store so if i click on the search button and the type in bridge card as you can see it won't show me it will just show me a game that is known as bridge game okay i will not see the bridge card there so what will i do now let me move into my browser and go through their website so i'll be with you guys all right guys all right guys so when you onto your browser Look at what you're gonna do. First of all, let me remove my browser from desktop site. Okay, so that is it. I move into phone. So you click here, guys, and type in what? Bridge, bridge, bridge what? Bridge card dot co. Bridge card dot what? Co. Now, when you search it, it's gonna lead you up to here. All right. Now let's scroll down and 
as you can see it says get on android get on iphone so if you have your android you can use get on android if you have your iphone you can use get on phone so here we are mainly concerned with get on android so let me click on that okay so it prompts me to open that with my play store let me click on that so on to my play store now as you can see look at our bridge card on my play store so as you can see it is same telling me open because i already have the card so for you that don't have the card you can do what do well to download it that way and again if there is a referral link to this bridge card i am going to leave it on my description box down below so that is it guys so make sure to check my description box to get started with this bridge card of course you know that whenever it comes to referral that most of times when you use a referral link you are on a better chance because there will be a bonus that may be accrued to that so having said that let's continue guys so this is how you download it now let's move to registration so so that is it guys so i quickly open up the app all right as you can see since i have registered it's prompting me to sign in but let us look at the sign up aspect first by clicking on sign up so guys the sign up to bridge is extremely simple of course guys now let's check all this as you can see when you click on sign up it says what should we call you so put down any name of your choice you can put your nickname but here i mostly prefer using your complete name for security purpose you know this has to do with money here okay now the next one you put down your email here put down your number put down your password these are the things that are mainly required here just click on continue and you are done but follow the direction prompt for more all right so that is it guys but since i have an account let me log in so here I am going to pause the video and then come back to you after logging in. So that is it guys. So I sign in. So I sign in guys. Okay, okay. So look at the interface of what of uh, bridge card. Now listen, after signing in, in, it will lead you to a lot of aspects. It will tell you first of all, you need to link a card to your account so that your account will become active and the rest of that just go ahead because our bridge is safe on my eye so go ahead and link your bank link your bank card to bridge for you to get started you can link as many cards as you want as you can see i have linked my zenith here okay i have linked my zenith here so that is it guys now the next thing we are going to look at is uh, how to you know if uh, the interface of bridge card as you can see now when you check this you discover you can send money using bridge card here you can use bridge card to pay bills as you can see that this is just exactly like alert or or raven okay so here you can request your bridge card all right you can request a any card of your choice now this now leads us to the type of cards we have in bridge remember i told you guys that it is either physical or virtual so here let's now be concerned with what the virtual so let me click on my bridge card as you can see when i click on my bridge card it has a picture or uh, a picture security that you need to access so that you can be able to access this so let me pause this video and uh, of course guys so no card found please request bridge card okay let me request as you can see when you put down this it's gonna bring out this for you all right so choose the type of card you want to request if you need a physical card it will be delivered to you on your doorstep and the physical card can be dollar card or naira card so for your dollar card you will be charged eight thousand and the delivery is free but you know that nothing is free your eight thousand in your eight thousand the delivery is inside there <laughs> so you click on get physical card but i don't think this is uh uh this is available for now now let me uh, okay you can also get a naira debit card you will be charged two thousand for that all right and uh, for all i know this naira debit card can also be used to perform online transactions just like the dollar card that is it guys now a lot of people don't know this i'm about to do now some of them will be seeing only physical card be looking for way to get the virtual virtual card so guys when you are here just swipe just move your phone to the left so when I do that, you see, it brings out what? Virtual card. So this is the most important here. In our virtual card, they are going to give you a card you are going to be looking at here. And then you will be charged only 1,000 Naira to get the virtual card. So how you are going to do this, if you click on get virtual card, then you need to fund the account you linked to your bridge card. There they will take the 1,000 Naira from there and give you a virtual card. So that is it. Now, when we come to now, the most important question is here that a lot of people wants to hear what is now the dollar rate 
and delimit in those of the cards okay so join me as because as we are looking at this i am going to be giving you some evidence that i am using to back up with what i'm giving you so guys let's first of all look at their website L let's look at their website to check this limit that, that is being talked about so that is it guys as you can see they, they they just tag this thing just like i told you the big question on dollar rates the most asked question across our social media platform is our dollar rate so let me just fast forward so guys let me fast forward okay now when you look at this you discover they say that currently 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 our better users are assessing dollars at what 566 naira which makes us four naira cheaper in regular bureau the change and up to 25 cheaper than most fintech what apps do you see that guys but i chatted with their customer care this morning i chatted with their customer care this morning now let us look at what we talked about okay guys this was my discussion with your customer care all right so as you can see when i access that you see bridge card what support okay so i said please what's the dollar rate to naira of the card the person told me what 597 and look at what i said i said wow that's high you <laughs> all right so that is it guys let's continue as you can see guys so when from the uh, customer care, the customer care is telling me that the dollar rate is 597. Why the website is saying that the dollar rate is 566. But if you are sensible, you will know that the one that is being talked by the customer care should be the one that is, that is more authentic here. All right. So I went along with him because this rate that they are giving here may have the, the they may have their particular reason of giving this rate. So that is it, guys. So but according to most of my researches the dollar rate is around 596 to 597 so guys let me now tell you whether it is safe to use this card or not let's now go to let's assuming we are buying dollar to be sold in binance let's now look at binance dollar rate so guys from my binance you will discover that the dollar rate is uh 604.7 per dollar now let us do the calculation using the particular uh rate from the customer care so let me go to my calculator so on to my calculator if i type 604.7 minus 597 you will discover that you will be getting seven naira gain from each dollar all right so i will still be back in this calculator all right guys now back to the app now before i give you guys my thoughts on this particular bridge card guys now let me answer the final question what is the monthly limit embedded on the cards in their website they will tell you ten thousand dollars daily limit but from this app let's now go to because bridge card has two or is it three packages the free package the premium package and another one again so let me go to my account and click on upgrade plan as you can see now look at the subscriptions that I, I am currently on the free plan which is the light plan now you can only link two nigerian bank account on this free plan so after linking another account to my zenith that's all i can link another account for me to bridge when making payment now the next one you can only create one virtual dollar card you can only create one virtual dollar card and number three you have five thousand dollars monthly dollar card limit that is for free now the next one when we swipe to the left you see premium link all unlimited number of bank card no matter even if they are twins you can link all of them and make payments with all of them once then the other one again link an international bank account you can also link an international bank account here then the third one create multiple virtual dollar card if you want to create you can create another like let's look at these guys let me tell you look at each card has monthly limit of uh Okay, let me read the last one. Over 10,000 monthly dollar card limit. Do you see that? Apart from our useless $20 and $100 monthly limit, this one has what? $10,000 monthly dollar card limit. But the place it sweet me the most is that you can decide to create up to 10 virtual dollar cards in which each of them has what? 10,000 monthly limit. Which simply means if you exhaust 
the limit of one you can go ahead and create sorry for that guys my battery is now low i will stay charge it you can go ahead and create what create another card immediately just pay two thousand create another card and start your transaction <laughs> do you see that that is extremely wonderful you can create multiple dollar cards up to 10 a day depending on how strong you are in this arbitrary thing now finally what okay is there any other plan okay no now guys finally what is my thought now let me on to my calculator all right now precisely what is my thought about this particular card remember they said in their website that their rate is uh, i think 566 but according to their customer he said that their rate is 597 which with me that should be the one I have to follow, even though they are talking from their website. A lot of things might influence them. Are you there? So let's just say on a normal that their rate is 597 or 596. Now, when we went to Binance and got the price of $1 to be 604.7, we subtracted and found out that on each $1, we are making 7.7 .7 Naira. So guys, now, if you want to do arbitrage with this card, make sure that you have big amount of capital to do this what is my thought about using the card yes it is safe we can use the card guys yes to my own understanding at the moment but remember that this is not a financial advice i make research on something that works find this out and and share it with you guys hoping you will do exact same thing to get exact same result so having said guys now let's check since 7.7 .7 is for one dollar how much are we making on a whole hundred dollar 7.7 .7 multiply by hundred dollars you see that we are just making 770 out of one dollar and in every one dollar it costs up to forty six thousand so in every forty six thousand you are making a profit of seven hundred and seventy naira do you see that but if you have a bigger amount of money like one thousand dollars like you know funding one thousand dollars which is like uh, one thousand let's calculate one thousand multiplied by let's say uh, 460 or 450 as the case may be you get 450,000 or let's say five averagely 500,000 in every 500,000 you are going to be making 7,700 that is $1,000 now if you are able to exhaust their 10,000 in a day now we calculate 10,000 multiplied by 7.7 7. if you are very very strong to do this in a day you find out that you'll be making a profit of 77,000 77 what thousand so after exhausting it, if you are on a premium plan which costs only 1000 you can request another card immediately and continue. So guys, even though their dollar rate is very large, but I see this as a little big opportunity for you guys to grab. So that is it guys. Uh, this is where I will come to the end of this tutorial today. I hope this tutorial helps you guys. I hope it helps you guys. But make sure you do your good amount of research before doing what? Diving in. So that is it guys. Now they are uh, i chat with uh, their customer uh again and uh, he replied me that you know their dollar rate will still decrease okay so if their dollar rate decreases let's say 570 then we'll be on a much safer side so let's just watch out because they are still unleashing more great things to them so even if it doesn't reduce you can still do arbitrage with this all right so that is it guys now see you guys on my next video for now i say what bye